All right, everyone, thanks for clicking on another episode of DIY Amateur Hour. As you saw in the thumbnail, uh, Dodge is releasing for 2024 the Dodge Hornet. Now, this car has almost nothing in common with the AMC Hornet from the 1970s, which was a two-door kind of a sporty car. And Dodge has brought it back as a four-door like crossover SUV. As you can see from these photos, there's a lot of clues or design elements taken from the Durango, the current Durango, from the GT hood to these uh, full width tail lights that you see on the current Charger as well as the Durangos. I don't think this is the worst looking car that Dodge has come out with. It's certainly not an awful looking vehicle, but, um, but as you can see, it's taking the uh, same design elements from a lot of other sporty crossovers of the day with the plastic coverings, the plastic trim on the wheel arches. I'm not really sure what's going on with that design cue, but it seems like everybody's doing it these days to kind of protect the wheel wells a little bit. But I don't think it looks the greatest in here on this other model. You can see those are removed, probably with the higher trim packages. But uh, Dodge Hornet with the dual exhaust, your thin red racing stripe along the matte black stripes going down the center of the vehicle. The 2024 Dodge Hornet is suited to come with a four cylinder, two liter turbo engine, pushing out 268 horsepower and 295 foot pounds of torque with a nine speed automatic transmission. It's not, certainly not gonna be a slouch by any means, but also it won't be the fastest car on the road ever. And here you can see this rear shot of the Hornet's taillights is almost identical to the current Durango's, obviously miniaturized for the Hornet. And in my opinion, you kind of have another boring interior. Everybody's going with tons of buttons, big screens. This interior doesn't do anything for me. Dodge has tried to put in a little bit of red stitching for a little more appeal, but doesn't do anything for me. As you're watching this video and you're looking at this car, you may say that you may notice that this car is very European. It's got a lot of European design cues. And if you thought that you would be entirely correct, because as you see here, this vehicle is built on the same platform as the Alfa Romeo Tonale. I'm not sure how you say that. T-O-N-A-L-E. Same frame. Same factories, these cars are going to be rolling out of the same same buildings, uh, but you can see the, the body lines are the same, the full width taillights are the same, just obviously different patterns. The uh, Alfa Romeo is going to be coming with a 1.3 liter turbo four cylinder along with a 90 kilowatt electric motor. And that will bump up the production to 285 horsepower at all wheel drive. So uh, as expected, the L4 Mayos get a little more technology, a little more power, a little more luxury. But this is the epitome of, can I copy your homework? Yes, just change a little bit so that it's not obvious. What do you guys think? Is the Dodge Hornet going to be successful in America? Do you want to see this rolling down the road? Do you want to buy one and be rolling around in it yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Thanks for watching.